Look closely and you can see gunshots crashing through the front windshield. The newly released body cam video is silent at first. It's from the perspectives of three Vallejo police officers. A detective sitting in the back seat fired the fatal shots just as the pickup he was riding in arrived to a call for a looting at the Walgreens. Once the microphone comes on, you can hear a question from an officer. What are you pointing at us? Hey, he pointed a gun at us. Don't move. Do not move. Do not move. What the body cam footage does not show is 22-year-old Sean Monterosa, who is directly in front of the car. His family insists Monterosa was in the process of surrendering when he was shot, contrary to the officer's reports. He was in a crouching, half-kneeling position. His hands were towards his waistband when he turned towards the officers. The officers perceived a butt of a gun, and they shot. But it turned out it was not a gun. It was a hammer. We see the gunshots go through the windshield in the video. Is that appropriate to shoot from a moving car through the front windshield? Again, uh, when an officer um, discharges his weapon, there are laws um, that govern that. And so we have an investigation, a criminal investigation and an administrative investigation that happens. For me to draw any conclusions at this point in the investigation would be inappropriate. You see gun on it? But I think clarity is what we want here. We want to know precisely what happened, and we want to know whether or not it is a police officer's uh, imagination that's a function to justify the shooting, or that there's some real evidence to support that. According to public records, Vallejo, with a population of roughly 122,000, has had a total of 34 police shootings in the past decade, 18 of them fatal. Public documents show a group of 14 Vallejo cops have been involved in the bulk of the shootings here, 27 of them, 15 of those fatal. The fatal 14. Activists are now referring to that list of officers as the fatal 14. It's 14 of them. They like a gang within they sell. None has been fired or charged with any crimes. Family members of some of the men shot by Vallejo police recently marched to the district attorney's office to demand justice. They all need to be held accountable. They need to be fired and put in jail, just like a normal person would that's on the streets if they murdered somebody. The officer who fired the shots has not been publicly identified. A judge granted a restraining order filed by the police union that keeps the officer's name secret. The city says the officer's family has received death threats. Meanwhile, the police chief says that restraining order doesn't even allow him to say whether the officer has been suspended or is still on the streets. In Vallejo, Joe Vasquez, KPIX 5.